Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. We have already completed 5.1 and 5.2 and today we are going to discuss about 5.3 co-prime numbers for safekeeping treasures and this is a audio lesson. Okay, this is a audio lesson. Which pairs are safe? Let us go back to the treasure finding game. So this is the treasure finding game played by Jumpy and Grumpy. However, this time the treasures are kept on two numbers. Jumpy gets the treasure only if he is able to reach both the numbers with the same jump size. With the same jump size. There is also a new rule that a jump size of 1 is not allowed. So the treasure is kept on two numbers and you must reach the numbers using the same jump size. Where should Grumpy place the treasures so that Jumpy cannot reach both the treasures? So you are looking for safe pairs so that Jumpy cannot reach the treasure. If he keeps the treasure on 12 and 26, that would not work because if the jump size is chosen to be 2, then Jumpy will reach both 12 and 26. What about 4 and 9? Jumpy cannot reach both using any jump size other than 1. And the rule is that a jump size of 1 is not allowed. So Grumpy knows that the pair 4 and 9 is safe. That means 4 and 9 are co-prime numbers. Check if these pairs are safe. 4 pairs are given and you need to check which pairs are safe. First one is 15 and 39. So that is not safe because we can choose 3 as the jump size and we can reach both the numbers 4 and 15. That is safe. 4 and 15 is safe. 18 and 29 is safe. 20 and 55 is not safe. We can use the jump size of 5 to reach both 20 and 55. What is special about safe pairs? They don't have any common factor other than 1. They don't have any common factor other than 1. So two numbers are said to be co-prime to each other if they have no common factor other than 1. So this is what you would learn in 5.3. Also there are some problems given that we will be doing in some other video. After this you have co-prime art. So that's also called a thread art. Four diagrams are given. The first diagram has 12 pegs. Pegs means uh, nails or pins you can think of that. And the thread is tied to every fourth peg. So in the first diagram you have 12 pegs and the thread is tied to every fourth peg. The second diagram has 13 pegs and the thread gap is 3. The third diagram has 16 pegs and the thread gap is 6. And the fourth diagram has 24 pegs and the thread gap is 6. Now in some diagrams the thread is tied to every peg and in some it is not. So now we need to relate this art, this thread art to co-prime numbers. So see if the thread is tied to every peg, okay, if the thread is tied to every peg then we can say the two numbers are co-prime. For example 13 and 3, 13 and 3 are co-prime numbers. Whereas in the first diagram, 12 and 4, not co-prime. 16 and 6, not co-prime. 24 and 6, not co-prime. So first, third and fourth are not safe pairs. The second diagram which has 13 pegs and the thread gap is 3, that is the safe pair. Also you have 4 questions given after this make such pictures for the following and four questions are given that again we will do in some other video. So this is all you have in 5.3. That's all for now. See you all in the next video.